this right here, it's, it's not, I mean, probably easier to see on your, on your, on your screen. This really looks like a bisector mm -hmm. of this, of this angle. So I would say it's probably this angle right here. That's also the same PBQ. PBQ. So this arc and this arc are the same. And if it makes the same, wouldn't it just be you divide 90 by two? So it just yes. gives you 45. So it's just asking for the angles, just saying like which one is congruent. So in this case, we would just say angle PBQ. Now, you might have started off the course and the teacher said something like, well, you can't assume that things are you know congruent that aren't congruent, uh, which is true, but you're kind of past all that now. I mean, if it looks like it, you know, you, you can reasonably make that assumption um, yeah. as part of the course. Okay, last question here for this uh, this thing here, 21, it says, which segment is congruent to TV? You, you kind of just have to have to sort of inspect here. Which uh, segment is congruent here's, to TV? Here's TV. Oh, P, oh, TV, oh, PR. PR, yeah. And they're kind of, kind of just pops out at you that, it, that they're congruent. Yeah. All right. Um, any questions on that, thoughts on that before we move on to something else here? No, that was pretty standard of what we've been doing. We'll okay. do that. Great. Sometimes just the tutoring is just, hey, we're going to look at it again, get you to see it one more time. You know, familiarity will help here. So here's a new problem. It says construct a square inscribed in a circle. Okay, so you, you've got a square. Let me grab a shape here. We've got a square and we're going to have a circle here. Which is it? Is it that the square is inside the circle or the circle is inside the square based on what you see here? The square is in the circle. Yeah, and there's a lot of ways to do that, but this is probably the, the best way to do it. Okay. So notice that the radius of the circle Okay, is the diagonal of the square in this one. Do you see oh, that? Right. Yeah. Whereas if you were to draw a circle inside a square, the radius is related to the side of a square. Two radii give you the, the side of the square. And it depends whether one is inscribed inside uh, or, or out. All right. Okay, so that's kind of thought one on this question. Do you generally get questions where you have to like Do draw this? draw something or the, the, no? The... It's it's more so like finding this angle or this arc is what's mostly I think going to be on the test. Okay, got it. Got it. Now you said test. Is it a test or a quiz? It's it's a quiz, but okay. Yeah. All right. So let's move on. Let's do two. Let's go to twenty three. Look at that and see if uh, we can do another numerical exercise here. Um, all right, here we go. So find CD. So CD is this is this chord over here, and they're kind of helping you out here. They're telling you that it's it's probably related to AB. The reason it's related to AB is because this this line here, this six and this six here. So there's, you probably saw this in class. It, it's kind of like this. If there's, if there's two chords, okay, and then there's a perpendicular bisector to each of them, and they're, and those are congruent, mm -hmm. then the lines are congruent. Oh. Okay. So, you, yeah. so you, there's a couple of things you're looking for. You're looking for the 90 degree. Uh, you're looking for the fact that the, uh, the, the, the piece from the Q to the line here, Q to this line here is the same. So that means that DC is congruent to AB. All right. Yeah. So what is the, what is the length of AB here? AB would be 15. So 15 to me, and it's kind of unclear. I think it's possibly referring to just this part to this part. It's like the midpoint of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I'm tended to think here it's, 30, although it's not written very well. Yeah. Do you have the answers in the back of the book? Um, 
Let me see. I do not. I can check because I do know Quizlet, which I use, can give you the answers to the textbook questions. Yeah, there's a ton of other resources as well. Uh, the reason I'm asking, I'm pretty sure it's 15 and 15, but I want you to see it so that you believe it. Um, yeah, let me. Check. Yes, it would. Yeah, it's 15 and 15. So 30 total for A to B. Yeah. All right. So then C to D would be equal, equal to A to B which is also 30 30 okay now we were kind of doing problems like this the other day where like i was asking you i believe that we were doing this where i was asking like for the radius from this um because they're giving you two of the three sides of the triangle do you remember what you would do to solve for the radius here what wouldn't it be well i have a, a paper somewhere in here um but wasn't it it was x plus no wait no 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 let's see i wrote it down is it the a times b equals c times d or is it the this is pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared b equals squared. c squared because it's a because it's a um a triangle do, do you feel like you often uh, yeah. misremember yeah. formulas or or they're not clear um, to you? Normally, I just write them down because we can normally take uh, low note cards okay. in on our tests. Got it. So Got I it. wrote down most of the theorems for this. OK, that would be good. Um, yeah, the, the key here to this one is the drawing on the right with maybe some words about right angles and concurrences, things like that. OK, so 24 here. 24 is really similar to the previous one here. In fact, I, I mean, I would almost argue it's the same. Um, what do you see here? What, what, um, um, oh, it's, so if it's asked for FG, it would be if E to H is 21, you just times 21 by two, which would give you 42 or 40, 42. Good. Yeah. Keep going. 21 times two, which gives you 42, which means that F to G is just 42. There's also 42. Good. All right. Fantastic. Um, Let's look at another problem here. All right, so I know, I know you said you don't typically have to draw anything. Um, so I will, I will draw this one for you after we read it here. It says a cord is 12 centimeters long. It is 30 centimeters from the center of the circle. Okay, what is the radius of the circle? So not to scale, but let's say that's our circle, okay? There's the center. A cord, a cord touches the circle in two places, uh, but it does not go through the center of the circle, okay? And you typically wanna draw these sort of like, like horizontal or vertical. So I'm gonna make this the cord, okay? And then it is 30 centimeters from the center of the circle. So again, not to scale, not to scale, that's 30. If the cord is 12 centimeters long and this meets at a right angle, what do you know about these two lengths here? Um, would it be, it would be the same length as the cord, right? Not, uh, it, it is the cord. This is the cord down here. Oh. But I'm, I'm asking about sort of like A to M and M to B. Like, what do you know about A to M and M to B? That would be an either a line or an arc. I'm talking about their length, their length. What do you know about the length of, like the whole oh, length is- whole It's length 12 is centimeters 12. long. Okay, and what about from A to M? A to M would be six, because you just yes. divided by two. Yes, okay. So in, in geometry, if you know, if we'd started out being a square, I would tell you there's like two things in geometry that are always true. They're, you either, they're either equal or they add up to something. So if you're never sure, if you're not sure, you just, well, just make them equal, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, you want to find the uh, radius of the circle. You're looking for this length there, okay? 
So you do have a right triangle, 6, 30, and R like that. And then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's probably something good to put on your note sheet. Go in there, maybe, maybe pair it up with a drawing of the triangle, A, B, and C, something like that. That might be good to have. Now, what's really important for you to know, to recognize is that A and B are the legs. The legs come out from the 90 degree. So in your problem, what's the value of A, A and B? A and B would be 12, or wait. We're looking at oh. this triangle right oh, here. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Um, value of A would be R, I guess, uh, or R. Okay. So so remember, A and B are the legs. The legs oh. come out from the 90. Which two numbers come out from the 90 here? Oh, uh, 6 and 30. 6 and 30. So A is 6, B is 30. 30. Which... And uh, do you have a calculator, something to, to work with today? Yeah, I like got my calculator. OK. Let's see would be so six squared plus 30 squared gives me 936 and then I just square root that yeah and maybe a question for you or to look in your example five there because that's what this refers to as if they round the answer or not example five um they just round it to the nearest hundredth. It okay. seems like in the problem. So what did, what is your rounded answer here? Uh, 30.59. Very good. And then units, we might have units here depending on the problem, uh, centimeters. So you would want to include uh, centimeters here. 30.59 centimeters. Okay, so just, just because I noticed this, let's just do a couple of Pythagorean theorem problems to just get you to get to see, see where your comfort level is on this. Yeah. All right, so here's a new triangle. Let's say that this is 10 and this is 13 and I want X. I want you to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared to solve for, for X. But before you do, can you tell me what they're giving you here? Are they giving you A, B, or C in this problem? They're giving me A and B. All right, good. So could you go ahead and try uh, solving this for me, please? And just round to the nearest 10th, uh, we'll say. Gives me, oh, wait, gotta square root it. Gives me 17.2. Uh, what numbers did you square? Uh, 13 squared plus 10 squared wow, equals got... 269. Okay, and square, square to that is? 17.2. Oh, oh, I did, I, I did it backwards. Okay. I did 296. Got it, got it. yeah, okay. Good, uh, so C is 16.4. Good, so here's a new problem for you to look at. Think about, let's say this is 21 and this is eight. Could you find the value of Y for us, please? That would be... And again, try to think about what they're giving you. Are they giving you A, B, uh, or C in this problem? That would be B squared and, or that would, that would be B squared and C squared. So we'll just do, Okay. Eight squared plus twenty-one squared gives me. Well, this time, okay. So this, this that's why we're doing some example. This time they're giving you uh, oh. a a and c. You don't always add the numbers together, and that's the other type of problem you might see. So notice that that the number squared and the number squared are not on the same side of the equal sign. What could help you here, and I haven't done this yet, but I'll, I'll recommend this now, is to actually label it like A, B, and C. Yeah. Oh, and this is when I do like the, where I would like subtract, right? Where yes, exactly. Eight, Ex exactly. Eight from both sides. Eight squared from both sides, yeah. So that would just leave me with B equals... 21 squared minus 8 squared. Oh, wait, I did that back. Wait.
give me 330, 377, which then I would square root, and that right. would give me 19.4. Hmm. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe I gave you the wrong number here. 21 squared. Oh, wait, I might have. Oh. So what, what it should yeah. be is, is 441 minus 64, and then you take the square root of that, that number. Oh, what did I do wrong? I did, oh, it's, let me just, Eight squared gives you 64 plus, uh, we don't know what B is, equals 21 squared, which is 441. And then you subtract 64 from that, which gives you 377. And then that's when you square root the 377 for that, right? That's right. So go one more time. Give me the, uh, the number here. 19.4. That's what I still got. Ah, still so four four forty one minus because I I'm I've detected something here. It is three seventy seven square root of three seventy seven. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is correct. All right, yes. I uh, I heard something. I guess I heard something different. Good. Okay, so let's move on. Actually, we should do one more here. We should do one more of these. Um, let's say I give you uh, that this is four. And this is 16 to find x. Or 16 to find x. So that'd be. You may want to label a, b, and c for this one. So that would be a squared plus 4 squared equals 16 squared. And then uh, 16, six, square root of 16, it's 256. So if it minus 16 from that, minus 16 from that, so if a squared equals. 240, just got to square root it, 40, which is 15.49 or just 15.4. Okay, I feel I feel like that's that's uh, got that down as well as can be for uh, for this. Okay, so that uh, that is everything from kind of the right side of the page that you sent. The left side are all proofs. I mean, there is that error analysis. Maybe you sent over one. Oh, you did send over one more. So let me grab, upload that real quick. Oh, yeah, I guess I sent over the the proof page. Uh, we haven't done any proofs in yeah class. So I'm assuming it's just probably part of the notebook or the most, textbook. Yeah, most classes stop doing proofs around Christmas time, you know, winter break. And that's, uh, you know, for whatever reason, that's what it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me grab a few more problems here. It looks like I'll have to I, find some more as well. I do us. have a practice problem worksheet that he, yeah. sent, he gave us today. Yeah. I can send that to you. Yeah, absolutely. Send it over. The more you send, the better uh, for uh, for us. It also gives me a feel for his style because uh, the whole goal here is to figure out how to get your grade up. And the more we know what you're being tested on, the more I'll be able to help you figure this out. All right, so let me know when you're, when you're ready here. I guess you just sent something else over. Uh, the diameter of a circle is 39 inches. The circle has two cords of length eight inches. What is the distance from each cord to the center of the circle? And again, sometimes just drawing this is the is the hardest part. It's like, like oh my gosh, what does this even look like? So uh, diameter of a circle is 39 inches, okay? So that's going all the way across. That's what you might typically draw. Uh, the cord here is eight inches, okay? But that also means that also means we uh, can draw the diameter another way. We don't have to draw it straight across. In fact, we can actually draw it like this. 
Yeah. Okay. Now, why would that be useful? Well, we know a few things that if you draw an altitude from the center to the chord, it meets at a 90 degree angle and it bisects it. Yes. Does that make sense? That's what we've been doing over and over and over again today. Okay. Yeah. Now, now the chord itself is how long? Eight inches. Eight inches. So that means each of these is four. The diameter is 39. Okay. That means this whole length is 49, not to scale. What would the radius be? How is the radius related to the diameter? The radius is... The radius is half of the diameter. Half the diameter. That might be something else to put in your note sheet. Not sure here, but it's half of 39, which is 19.5. So that's the 19.5 there. Yes. So notice we've got the two sides of a right triangle. We are asked for the distance from each chord to the center of the circle. This time we want to solve for, I'll just call it B in this triangle. So a good strategy is to actually get rid of the, the circle and just focus on the triangle here. Uh, we got four, we've got B, we've got 19.5. This is a lot like the problems we've been doing. Mm -hmm. Do you want to try solving that for, uh, for B first, please? Yes. So let's write this down. So that is the four squared plus B squared equals 19.5. And then I would, 19.5 squared, I would do, so four squared is 16 plus B squared equals 19, 18.5 squared is 380.25, yeah. And then I subtract 16 from that. And then I switch square root that, 364.25 gives me 19.08. Yes. So let's go, let's round to 19.1. What are the units of that? The, it is inches. Inches, okay. Now, assuming you have the drawing, like what about this do you feel like you could not do on your own at this point? Um, I mean, as long as I have the information, I think I could probably, like if I had like the, the numbers to tell me, I probably could figure it out. Okay, fair enough. Um, just trying to figure out, you know, what is it? There, there's some sort of gap, right? Like you go from, okay, I got my homework down and go to the quiz. Like, you know, what's the, what's the missing piece here? It's uh, go ahead. I feel, I feel like normally like for the, like the big tests, I normally don't remember all the formulas and stuff like that, but that's normally, but when we get like no cards, I can take them in, but it's still like, I'll, even if I have like the formulas, I still won't know how to put them in the action sometimes if they're yeah. like a really long complicated ones okay right. yeah that makes sense okay um do you need me to check any of these practice problems that you've done um no i this is most of like the solve for x stuff is is not super difficult um okay because we did like a whole unit on it basically right um it's more so like questions uh six seven and eight i don't know if six is correct but okay well, let's take a look. We'll start with six. I was, I'm going to find some more problems like these now that I kind of see the style uh, for us. But let's look at uh, six first. Do you typically work on these alone or in a group in class? I, I normally work alone. Good. Okay. All right. So R to S is 18. That's this length here. And you correctly put nine there. Arc TY is 42 degrees. T to Y is 42 degrees. So there is no central angle associated with that. Um, but that means this one is also 42 degrees, which may or may not come in handy. We'll see. It could be just extra information. Find the following T to U, okay? T to just... V. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, none mind. Continue. Yeah, T to U, you, you, I think you're about to say it's 18. You're, it's okay if you want to interrupt me. Um, I, I don't mean to talk over you ever. That you're the customer. Uh, T to U is 18. I think you, were, you have that written down here. Maybe we're about to say that. Yeah. What is TV? TV is 
that that's just half of it so it would just be nine good w to s you actually already have written down is nine okay now arc yu is 42 degrees it should say measure though i don't know why your instructor isn't using the right things there that's okay and then arc r to s same thing here the s is just would be just 42 times 2 which is 84. Yeah. yes so, looks, so i did that good. right looks good to me yeah i like it okay All right, uh, let me ask, let me just look this over here so I can find VW. Okay, and all right. So let me, I'm gonna help you out here. I'm gonna give you a big hint. You're gonna first find A, and that will, when you find A, A will lead you to finding VW. Okay, so first I need to do, so it'd be A squared plus, Five squared is 25 plus or equals equals 13 squared, which is 169. I would subtract 25 from both sides. Minus 25, and then I square root that, which gives me 12. So a squared is a is 12. A right? is 12, yeah. good. Okay, so that, and I, the way I'm showing you here, it's like, okay, that means you can find V to W. Why is it that you can find V to, to W? Because, oh, because Z and W is 12, meaning I just times it by two, which is 24. So then I get V to W. That's right. So VW is 24. Good. All right. The last thing it wants you to find here is arc YW. So right here, like this. To find that arc, um, you need this angle. Why so, would you need? Why would you need that angle? What 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 is it about that that? Because x, because uh, angle x and our our arc x and arc wy would be are congruent. So they would. Yeah, be the, the these the central angle is equal to the that there. Now it's it's written kind of oddly here um so i i guess i want to make sure that they're not asking for the the length of this again do you have the solutions to this one i do not, not, do not. The okay let me look at one of your other let me look at your other problems and see if if it's clear here um he's he did say this one was specifically dif more difficult than the other ones when you okay. handed it out all right so the the finding this angle right here is going back to your uh, right angle trigonometry sine cosine and tangent does that at all yes mean anything to you okay so if we just draw the triangle and I, and I really like drawing it without all the other stuff if we wanted this angle up here x we could use sine cosine or tangent it actually doesn't matter do you have one that you like more than another tangent tangent so tangent of x it's always the tangent of an angle. It's the ratio of sides. So relative to x, you want the opposite, that's 12, and then the adjacent, which is 5. five. So now, do, you, do you remember how to undo tangent? Undo tangent on your calculator? Yeah, so it just be cool. It's that that tan inverse. So if you're using oh, like, it's a tan inverse, yeah. If you're using a TI 8384, it's it's the second tangent button. Yeah, all right, and then I divide by five, and then do that. It would give me 67.3 degrees. Right, let me just double check here, I'm a little slow. We go, uh, okay, looks good. So X is 67 degrees, or 67.4 degrees, if you will. So that allows you to find the arc measure. Um, 10.1 and looked like it was actually finding the like walking distance measure here, but I'm guessing this is all that's asked for the instructor wants here. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, so it would be to 67, 67 point, or yeah, point four, 67 point four. All right.
right. Okay. All right, so we're up to number eight here. It says in the circle, given H to K is 30. You wrote 32, not sure why. Um, was it H to K equals, oh, I must have just miswrote it then. I think that's what it probably was. Okay. So the, the, the change. It's all wrong then. Well, except for the eights. Let's be kind. <laughs> just a small change here. So that means HN is 15 and this other one is 15. Okay. Yes. And you're asked to find pH, which is, I'll call this uh, C. And there's just a lot of distracting lines here, but if you could, if you could sort of like redraw that triangle, 15, eight and C, do you, do you, uh, do you see where that came from? Where I've drawn, I've drawn this kind of off to the side here. Yes. And that's, that's what you have to be able to do. You have to be able to reasonably, you know, find that, find that triangle and draw it. So could you find the missing side for us, please? Yes. The, so would be eight squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. And then you could, let me, let me just, 64 plus 225 minus 64 minus 64 gives me 12.6 so a equals 12 point or c equals this, this one works out nicely. Um, I thought I heard the right things. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. What's what's the value of A, B, or C? Which which ones are you given in this problem? I'm given A. So A would be eight squared. Okay. And B would be 15 squared. Okay. And that's that's and true. That, that's true. That, that all is good. So eight squared is 64. 15 squared is 225. They right, add up 60. to... They add up to 280. So you're, I just heard there, you're subtract, you try to subtract, but they're on the same side of the equation. Oh, you're right. So if they're so, giving you the two legs, you, you, you just add them. It's only when they're uh, giving the hypotenuse that you subtract. All right. So that would give me 289, which then I just square root that 289, 17. It was 17. C is 17. So that's pH. pH, P to H is 17. Now, the, the last thing it asks for is the arc, the arc uh, G to J. So that's this one right up here. And, and this, this circle just has so much going on here, but I want to I try and redraw it so that you can, you can see what we're actually trying to find here. Here's G, P, J. And you're, you're also similarly trying to find this. So you really need that central angle uh, right here, call it X, okay? You see that? All right, yeah. But we don't have, but, but in your drawing, that's, that's this angle right here, which we, we don't really have a way to, to find, but we could find the angle in the triangle and then double it. Okay, so that would mean I just use, I'd use the inverse of tangent Right. That's that's good. Yeah. So let's let's say we're trying to find this angle right here. We'll call it y this time. Tangent of y equals what over what? Uh, it would be the it's the opposite over the adjacent, correct? Yes. So and let me just write this down in case you want to put this in your notes. You probably saw this. So Katoa you might have seen that. Uh, yeah. Sine is is this way. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So yes, it's 15 over eight, and you've got to take the the uh, tan inverse of that or the arc tangent. So if I do if I do the inverse of tangent, I do 15 divided by eight. That'd give me 61.9. You got it. So that's that's this angle y, but to get x, you have to double that angle. Double that, so I just times that by two. Yeah, and and maybe there's so much going on the drawing, but that's what I'm trying to get you to see there is why why you would do that. And that would give me twenty one hundred twenty three point eight. Okay. 
So that that answers your question of what is g to j. All right. Let me write that down somewhere. Okay. All right. Um, fantastic. Fantastic. Here. So I'm looking for some more problems for us to do. Uh, let's see if I can find described angles and polygons. Just, I'm just looking on another screen here. Okay, that's not going to help. Let's go to the other direction. Seven. Nope. All right. All right, here we go. I did find some here. That would be good for us to look at real quick here. These are a lot like the ones on that sheet. So let me grab a new piece of paper. Well, actually, no. you, you, you probably don't need it for this if you don't want to take notes. These are going to be pretty straightforward. Um, OK, so the problem here wants you to solve for x. What, what do you set equal in this problem? So I would just do 6 equals x minus 1. Good, good. And the reason you can do that is because of this 90 degree here. That means that these bisect each other. Yeah. Boom. boom. OK. Uh, similarly, and this is what I was talking about. Like sometimes you just set things equal. Um, we did a bunch of problems like this earlier. What is the value of x? x would be 7 because they're just congruent. That's right. And this new problem I'm going to snip in here. Sorry, mouse can't find the cursor. There it is. This new problem here. All right. What are you going to set equal in this new problem? So I would do x plus 7 equals 3x plus 1. Yes. OK. Now, I, do, you, do you have somewhere you can note, write this down, maybe on the back side of something, try to solve for x? Yeah. OK. Do that for me, please. Yeah, so x plus 7 equals 3x plus 1. So first thing I should do is get rid of the x on one side. So I'll just subtract that by that. 7 equals 2x plus 1. And then if I minus 1 minus 1 just gives me 6 equals 2x. Divide them both by two, give me three equals x. Okay, so you feel like the answer is x equals three. Pretty confident in that, I assume. Yes. Great. And then so so here's here's the thing is it might ask you to find x, right? Or it might ask you to find the length of a b. Okay. Or it might ask you to find the length of d c. So or d b, sorry. So be careful that you when you solve for x that you actually are being asked to solve for x and you're not being asked to solve for, for example, a to b. What would a to b be in this case? A to b would be. Um, would that not just be? It would be ten. Yes. And how about d to b? Also ten because they're congruent. Okay, agreed. Now. Um, they could also ask you to find uh, maybe the uh, the area of of this uh, triangle. No, they wouldn't ask you to do that. Never mind. <laughs> Go on. You're trying to think of trying to get creative here, but we don't need that. Uh, all right. So last last kind of thought here um, on this. Uh, just as a reminder, the lessons are 50 minutes, um, so we're, we're really close to being out of time here. But one more sort of thing, just to show you that it's not just the lengths that are that are the same; the arc measures are the same. Yes. So you would set you would set these equal. You would set 2x minus 10 equal to x plus 30. Subtract x from both sides. Add 10 to both sides. You'd get x equals. 40, but that's X. That's not the arc measure. So you might have to put that 40 back into one 
or the other to get the value of it. And then redo the math. If needed. And then yeah. again, like that could also refer to this angle right here and this angle right here because it's an because it's a central angle. Gotcha. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop right there for uh, today.